the Cohesion Commission is concerned on the direction that the discussion of the ICC summons for the six Kenyans is taking. It is apparent that this discussion is splitting the country ethnically once more, and we urge for sobriety and sincerity. For the past one year, NCIC has worked extensively in all provinces. From the conversations we have held with the wide cross-section of Kenyans, we can tell the nation without fear of contradiction that the healing from the ravages of post-election violence has not happened, especially in western Nyanza, Rift Valley, and central provinces. Most importantly, too, is that our quest for reconciliation as a nation, and that's why, for example, we formed the TGRC, has not been accomplished. In 2008, we sought to remove the trials of any alleged perpetrators from our jurisdiction to the ICC, partly to allow us time to heal and rebuild our nation. We have not achieved uh, healing or rebuilt our nation. We are obsessed with the ICC. NCIC is in agreement that the ICC will end impunity and bring justice to the victims. However, we are being short-sighted in not seeing that in the absence of reconciliation process, our journey towards the elections in 2012 is a minefield. Post-election victims in IDP camps are saying that the perpetrators are still walking around them, free, under fear of no arrest. We must ask ourselves as a country whether this fixation on ICC will fix the problem of the perpetrator who continues to work free within our uh, midst. The negative ethnicity angle has constantly showed its face in the instances where leaders are subjected to legal processes. And you see that, not only ICC, even things like corruption in this country. Inevitably, falling back to the ethnic communities for support. When the rule of law is prevailed, these leaders were tried and some cleared and reinstated to their position in government. We must stop ethnicizing judicial processes. Someone to the Hague is not a one-way ticket, meaning the end of any Kenyan who is sent there. In fact, those on the list have consistently said they will go to the Hague and return, and in addition have consistently reaffirmed their commitment to adhering to the rule of law. The biggest threat to the rule of law is the unhealthy mix of politics with the judicial processes, as in the case of the discussions that are going on on the ICC. Kenya must not allow the issue of sending some Kenyans to the Hague to translate into a battle between communities. We urge our leaders, institutions, and in particular the political class, to refrain from using a legal process to, to score political points or gain political marriage, and was still from forcefully trying to bring the ethnic angle in play when discussing this issue. Yes, we want justice for the victims, and we want uh, 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 truth to be told, but we must also remember there are other, other, uh, that 7 million plus of us who have remained behind to build a nation. We must not lose sight of that, and we must continue in building this nation, not to concentrate on a few things which is also important to us.